Hello, and welcome to Citizens for Responsible Energy Solutions National Clean Energy Week. I'm Congresswoman Marionette Miller Meeks from Iowa's 2nd Congressional District, and I'm honored to be with you today. I want to thank CRES for inviting me to this symposium, and I want to thank everyone in the audience for their attendance. It's important that we continue the discussion about renewable energy solutions, and this is an excellent example of how we can do just that. Since taking office in 2020, I have been enthusiastically vocal about my commitment to cleaner alternative forms of energy that bring different jobs, revenue, and flexibility to Iowa and allow Iowa to remain a major energy exporter. I'm a supporter of American energy and energy independence, whether it be natural gas, renewable fuels like ethanol or biodiesel, solar, wind, or nuclear. Everyone, both Republicans and Democrats, want to leave a cleaner, healthier planet to our children and our grandchildren. However, we must do this in a way that fosters a growing economy, which allows the United States to remain a global economic competitor. The COVID-19 pandemic exposed our over-reliance on China for things like pharmaceuticals and personal protective equipment, which made it clear that we must bolster domestic manufacturing of our healthcare essentials. We can't stop at healthcare though. This supply chain crisis proved how important it is for the United States to curb its reliance on other nations, particularly unfriendly nations for everyday essentials, including and especially energy. We need to unlock American resources. Currently, we are too reliant on countries like China to supply critical minerals like lithium, cobalt, nickel, copper, rare earth minerals, and graphite that we need to support our energy projects. In fact, the United States remains 100% dependent on imports for 17 key mineral resources. This dependent handicaps American businesses and only adds to global emissions. Making it easier to source these materials here in America, which we have in abundance, thereby employing American workers is necessary to ensure our energy security. We must enact policies that unleash American energy, including allowing drilling on federal lands, approving the Keystone XL pipeline, permitting the Duluth, Minnesota copper mine, and mining for critical minerals here at home. Instead of relying on rogue regimes, we should be utilizing American workers to create American jobs, lower energy prices, improve our energy, economic, and national security, and improve the security of our allies all in environmentally friendly ways. In order to generate, manufacture, and export energy sources at home, I believe we must create an energy strategy. This might not look the same for every state, and we must incorporate the life cycle of energy generation. We must take an all of the above approach. Our energy independence can't be dependent on just wind or solar energy, both valuable but inconsistent resources. In 2008, Iowa became an energy exporter and has since remained a leader in the renewable energy sector. Just last year, the American Clean Power Association conducted a study that reported 57.6% of Iowa's electricity is created by renewable sources more than any other state in the country, all without mandates or carbon emission restrictions. Recently, I hosted an Iowa energy tour to allow members of Congress from other states to see the variety of energy generation present in Iowa, including renewable liquid fuels, organic material, material renewable compressed natural gas, wind, solar energy that create electricity and power our transportation sector. In learning more about the various sources of energy generation in Iowa, my colleagues from across the country were able to see firsthand the importance of the all of the above approach. Natural resources and the geographic composure of each state must be considered as we determine our nation's energy strategy. We must enact policies that benefit a variety of energy sources and where they work best, whether it's solar in the Southwest, gas in Texas, wind in the Midwest, hydropower in the Pacific Northwest, or nuclear in the South. Without carbon emission standards, Iowa has become a net exporter of renewable energy. If we can do this in Iowa, think what we can do throughout the entire United States to get cleaner energy across the board. As we look to the future of clean renewable energy, we must also prioritize research and development. We must allow Americans to do what we do best, which is to innovate. Instead of setting mandates and imposing economic penalties, we should incentivize research and development to encourage innovation within the renewable energy sector. Our businesses and citizens will rise to the task. I'm thrilled so many of you have joined us today to discuss the need for renewable energy and how the United States energy sector can be affordable, accessible, and profitable. I look forward to conversations we'll have, and I'm confident that with so many people invested in this issue, our renewable energy future is bright. 
Thank you again for inviting me to speak with you today and thank you to everyone in attendance. I hope that together we can work towards cleaner renewable energy and energy independence.